Hey, Thomas. Hi. Hello. How are welcome, you? Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it's my first time. Not in LA, but here, yes. Tell me what do you think about it? I think it's very cool. I really liked the glass lobby with all the glass doors. I just sang a song there. Did you? I you, did. You know, you should probably do a music video there. I know. That would be interesting. That'd be a, that'd be a cool, cool way to express a song, I think. How would you uh, start that song or express that song? I don't know. I, th- I think the light's off. Maybe, like, the glass could, like, maybe shatter. I'd say we just break down all the glass and just have it explode somehow. I call that Tuesday. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just yeah. like... That's, <laughs> just destroy that, it. That's the day where I want to, like, break everything, I feel <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, oh, the day of the week, Tuesday. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Or any day Because it's that, not quite to the end, but it's, right, like, that second right, right. day. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or any day that begins with Y. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. So what's happening with you? You're here. Tell me all the things. Yes, um, I've just been hanging out. Mm-hmm. I've been, I just sang earlier. I've been rehearsing. I have a show on, um, actually tomorrow at the Hotel Cafe. Are you excited? I'm so excited. What do you do to prepare for something like that? Um, just practice, honestly. Just like. Playing my songs and stuff, getting in my feels, because that's what I do when I perform. I get all sad, then I cry, probably. Do you really? Oh, yeah. What's your birthday? I'm a, I'm a Libra. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I, was, I was about to say, you're either giving me some, like, cancer vibes. I'm not going to say Pisces, although Pisces, they always say right. that Pisces are, like, emotional. super emotional, yeah. but I don't think we're emotional. October 9th. I don't think we're emotional yeah. at all, and Libras aren't you're, emotional. You're a Pisces? Yes. Yeah. Can you, ma- can you make a decision? About? Anything, because you know Anything. I feel like Libras oh, are indecisive. So- yes. Oh, I'm so indecisive. It's bad. Is it? Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Like food. It's food. Oh, sorry. I'm not choosing. Are you the worst? Like when you go out to dinner with with with, with like friends and, and you got this big like let's say the huge ch- menu, the cheesecake, cheesecake factory. factory. I was gonna say that, dude. It's so big, dude. I have no chance of getting anything right there. It's good, but too big. You're you're mm-hmm. like searching. Yeah, right, you're right. Searching. right, 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 right. It's like a dictionary. <laughs> Completely. So how did how okay? So how do you narrow it down for like? A track list and stuff like that. Are you hmm. decisive when it comes to your craft and your music I, and stuff? I feel like, I mean, like, the way I prepared this show is kind of like, and I feel like it's, it's going to be consistent with all of my upcoming shows. It's going to be in, like, an order of, like, a story itself. So every song kind of is, like, a short story that always continues mm-hmm. until, like, the ending. Leave it at, like, a cliffhanger. Then shed a tear. Maybe not because I'm indecisive. I was about to say, do yeah. you, would, you, would you shed a tear on stage? Or have you ever shed a tear on stage before? No, actually, no. But I shed tears when I write songs. So the thing is, like, when I'm playing these songs that I cry about in front of people, if I see somebody else, if somebody's crying, I'm going to cry. I think that is the... Like, if you cried right now, I'd cry. That ain't I, I I don't even I'm a robot. I don't have that uh, <laughs> I don't have that function. But let me tell you, there is something about being that vulnerable on stage. Yeah. With people watching you, mm. you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, especially like with the songs that I write, it's it's honestly about what I'm going through now. So whatever I like perform, I mean, I feel like just with my songs in general, I'm just trying to help people like um, with their emotions and stuff. So it's like if I see so- if something helps somebody, it's gonna help me. But like, I'll just get super emotional about it. But you don't set out to do, do that. It's about what's happening to you yeah. in a situation, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. All everything about what I'm going through personally. Yeah, in that moment in time. And this is like a whole story basically. Cuz it's like honestly set up that way. So when Actually, you're yeah. So when you're writing everything that's going on, are there other people involved in the story? Like like people that are helping me write? No, just people that are involved when you are writing. Like are you writing about a spo- a certain oh, situation, a certain oh, someone? Yeah. Always, always. It's always about like I mean like per- personal relations, like people that I know or usually just ex-girlfriends to be honest. Do you ever feel a way? Like, about uh, them hearing uh, something about them. So it depends because I've written I've written songs about exes and I've written one song. I'm not gonna say the name, but the title is the name of my ex girlfriend. Mm-hmm. So like, if she heard that, like, especially if I released it and they saw it, it'd be like, oh my gosh, a constant like, like, like she just remembers it's like, oh my god, this song's about me. So how do you think she she'll, she'll act? Will she? Actually, I've played it for her in the past. She cried. Like heavy tears or sad tears? Heavy tears. Actually, it wasn't like sad tears. It was like heavy tears. But not like, like, a, uh, it was like a, uh, like a sad, <laughs> sad. 
What made her cry like that? It's a sad Who song. Who was toxic? You or her? Not me. Neither. That's the thing. Okay. That's the thing. Neither of us were toxic. It was meant to be, bro, but just not at this time. Can you see? All right. So somewhere down the line, is it like, all right, well, maybe. We'll maybe. I mean, I, I like to think that way, but I mean, I mean, it all depends. I feel like, I don't know. Maybe she moved on. Maybe I moved on. It's a cliffhanger. Mm, and mm. she's watching right now. Maybe she's watching right now. She's definitely watching. Oh, right she's 100. She watches your 100%. stories. She watches uh, your your TikToks. She watches me everywhere I go. Absolutely, she's she watching watch the TikTok. Everything. She's watching everything that's going down right now. Mm-hmm. And now she's in limbo. She's and I'm start, quaking. She's gonna start crying even more. Because oh, yeah, now yeah. she doesn't know if she's yeah. gonna get back with oh. you. Oh yeah, it's all it's all over now. At, all over. At what age did you think to yourself like, all right, I wanted to do this? Um, I've been doing music like my whole life. I also like grew up playing sports though, mm-hmm. but I was inclined to music at a very, very young age, like naturally. Like my parents said, that's just how I was. And I've been like writing songs. I didn't even realize this, but um, I was hanging out with my mom uh, like the other week and I, there was like a video mm-hmm. on her phone and I had no idea, but I was literally like writing a song, except I didn't know I was writing a song. It was like me in like third grade. I was like writing, right? Like I had no idea that I was writing at the time. I was just like doing melodies and like playing piano. Uh huh. It was crazy. It's like, oh, I've been doing it forever. But I've been doing music basically my whole life. Yeah. Do you remember that first song that you listened to that really had an impact on you? Oh yeah. What was that? It was something by the Beatles. It's literally called something by the Beatles. Yeah. And when you, it's George Harrison's guitar. When you heard that mm-hmm. song, mm. how did you feel? Um, I don't know. I just remember, it's weird, it was like one of the first songs that really connected with me. Honestly, all the Beatles songs, because I like grew up listening to those, but I just think that their songwriting, like Paul McCartney's, all of them, they're, they're all amazing songwriters, but in general, I feel like when I heard something the first time, I mean, it was just kind of, it's a very straightforward so- song, and it's like, I don't know, I feel like all of their music, it just hits different. Were you in somewhat of a crossroad because you played sports Mm. in high school and then you also had music? I mean, yes and no. I feel like, I mean, in my heart and like what I believe I was destined to do, it was music all the way. I love sports and I played sports. Like, honestly, I've probably tried every single sport growing up. Right. But music all the way. Mm. Was there anyone in your life that you were like, maybe you should stick with sports? No, I feel like I feel like everybody around me. I, I like to keep my circle pretty small, just like to protect myself. Is that like I mean I've done that my whole life, but honestly, everybody was very supportive. It's kind of nice, but also like I love sports, but music was everything. To protect yourself, to protect yourself from what? Um, just like I don't know, getting hurt or something. From people. Yeah, that's why I write songs. Hmm. It's almost like your version of journaling. Yeah. Yo. Oh, well. Hundred percent, just therapeutic. No, that's a cliche, but it really is. No, I feel like a, a lot of people. I think when you get it out of your head and you put it down on paper, mm. I think that's what helps you live. It come with it. naturally, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like everybody um, has their own way of dealing with their own emotions, mm-hmm. and my way is just through songwriting. Naturally, it's just like my best way. I was. I mean, I wasn't even like crazy good at like English in school. It's just like. With music and then mixing in with lyrics, I feel like that's almost like my way of actually being good at it somehow. <laughs> what is your songwriting process? Um, it depends. It's it's all different. I like to write when I'm in a certain mindset. Like if I'm writing an emotional song, if I'm angry, if I'm happy, I have to be in a certain mindset and it'll come naturally. So it's like usually I'll just set my phone down and I'll find chords on piano or guitar that I really, really love. And when I'm in my element, I'll write songs very, very quickly. So probably probably when I'm tired, probably when I've like gone through something like maybe whether it's a breakup or just like something that like messed with me during that day or not mess with me and I'll just like write the song naturally in about a certain amount of time. It'll come. How important you feel like is using social media in your music? I think it's huge right now. I think I think with like TikTok and Instagram, I think it's actually brilliant. For, I mean, how I view it is, like, I got completely found by, I mean, my amazing record label and everybody through, and my fan base, who I love, like, completely through Instagram and TikTok, YouTube, all, all of the social, like, all the big ones, Snapchat, everything. So it was, I think it's huge. I think it's a huge, huge helping hand, and I think it's, 
I think it's great. And it's crazy. I can like scroll on TikTok or like Instagram reels or shorts or anything. Mm -hmm. And I can just find like, I mean, like in 30 seconds, like 10 artists that are just amazing, super talents. And it's like crazy to me. I think it's really, really cool. And and they might be from whether that's in the US or, or somewhere around like the world. It's wild. It's almost scary to me. Yeah. Because it's so instant. Like you can put something out there and they can give you instant feedback. Yeah. Have whether you ever, they like it or hate it. Yeah, right. Have you ever like swiped on like a live on a platform and just seen how many people are like using these things? It's crazy to think about. It's like wow. You really see it. It's cool. But also like really intense too. Does it scare you ever? What? Social. No. No, I think I think I've gotten in a healthy spot in my life to where it's like it's very just helpful and I just love the people that I meet on there. How do you not become obsessed with it? Um, I don't know. I like to limit myself. I cause I don't know about you, but I can like if I really wanted to, I could lay in my bed <clears throat> and swipe on TikTok for hours and like not even realize it. <laughs> like I'll tell myself I'll be like, Oh my gosh, I've been swiping on this for thirty sec for like thirty minutes and just be like just get right back to it and then be like, Oh my gosh, I gotta stop. So I like to put my phone down. I like to put myself on like do not disturb or something. But I also just love making videos for people and singing my songs that I write and promoting them. It's like what I do. I love it. I love that for you. Thank you. <laughs> Cause I, I, I feel like TikTok can be so like not a vicious place, but like sometimes people will get on there and will say something to you that they would never say in your face. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. People can be like that sometimes, but I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Um, tell me about Vicious. Vicious is a song, true story. Um, everything. So when I wrote, when I started writing Vicious, I was in my room and it was like 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. and I hadn't talked to this ex girlfriend in a very, very long time. This one that, in this certain relationship, I was super, super affected by this girl, and I was like super. In, in love with her and it had been like about a year <clears throat> I was still thinking about her at the time and she called me out of nowhere and just wanted to catch up about life and stuff I was like oh my gosh and and I didn't even realize it like two hours went by it was like 5 a.m and I was like oh my gosh I've been up all night talking to her and I didn't even realize it it literally felt like five minutes because it was just so natural and like how we always were and at the, by the end of it she was saying like you know I always love you and like I missed the way it was and and, like, I missed the way it was. And then she eventually told me by the end that she's actually talking to somebody, and I had no idea, and that kind of just messed with me. So Yeah, because why did she say she missed the way it was? Right, exactly. Not even that. And also say I love you, too. When right. She was also dating somebody, and I was like, wow. So it kind of just messed with me, and I was like, all right, I, I got to go. I'm going to go to bed quickly, hung up. And then that night, like, probably 10 seconds after I hung up, I sat on my bench and played piano and started playing the beginning of Vicious, start, wrote the first verse, and then finished it with my two buddies, Steve Roosh and mm-hmm. Quinn Lewis. Amazing people. Love them both dearly. You know, I picture you. You're in a bedroom. Yeah. You're sitting at your uh, <laughs> desk. Yeah. There's a lamp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a laptop. Mm-hmm. MacBook Pro. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and you are... Feverishly yeah. typing like this after you got yeah. finished hanging up with her, yeah. just like typing, yeah, yeah. typing away, angry. Absolutely, yeah. because I felt like not necessarily she led you on, but in a, in, a, in a way. But then again, we were together, and she was. I, I don't know if she was like trying to get back together, but she's like, I don't know. Why? First of all, why even have this conversation with you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why say Especially I love if she's you? Not getting back together, right? Then I'll just mess with me. You know? I miss the way I, it was. Yeah, like, plot twist. I have a boyfriend. Yeah, okay, yeah, literally. Yeah, out of nowhere. It's like okay, all right. I felt like she didn't necessarily have to say that. No, no. I mean, she could have just said I had a boyfriend, and then never said you know I love you. Right. Still. <laughs> or she could have led with that. Yeah, right. And just said that right off the bat, and then I figure out. Oh, but she has a boyfriend. I'm like, hey, you probably shouldn't be doing this just for her sake. Yeah, I, I have a boyfriend, but let let's just catch up. Let's, let's talk. Up, you know right? what I'm saying? Completely. But the bright side of it is that you got a song out of it. I love the song. Uh-huh. Oh, I love it so much. I perform it with so much energy, acoustically, and with the track in the background. I love it so much. Do you channel how you felt that night when you oh, perform it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Mm. I channel those emotions every day. Come on. It's what keeps me going. It keeps me writing songs. Have you talked to her since? Uh, No. No. She's tried to reach out, but I have not. 
What does she want? I don't know. She probably heard the song. She's like, hey. I was like, hey, little do you know. Would it, I want, like, I wonder, if, so when she reaches out, what is it? Is she just like, hey, dot, dot, dot? Or is it, it it's, like? It's, it's almost like, she'll do it in like sly ways. Like, say, say I was like talking to somebody new. Mm -hmm. She'd like start liking their photos. Like the other person's photos? Yeah, yeah. She's a psychopath. I mean, I, I need you to stay away from her. I know. I'm, I'm scared. I'm shivering now. <laughs> I, how is she liking the other person's photos? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's like a there's a way that teenagers. I feel like nowadays, like that's just like the most toxic thing. But like kids will do that. Like it's it's pretty. Can I ask you a question? Like people do that. Yeah. Do you attract the crazies? So, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm very attracted to like crazy people. Clearly. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I just, I just care about people. And, um, Do you I, feel like you can fix them? No, not even that. I feel like I can help them. I, 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 I'm one of those people that naturally, hence why I write songs like about heartbreak and stuff, that I feel inclined, like my purpose as a human being is just to help people and like make them feel loved in a way. I don't know. I don't know. I get that. Yeah. Cause I always feel like I, I can make somebody better. You know what I mean? Like not even yeah, just right, like right. just like friends. Like I yeah, can make right, you better. Even friends, yeah, yeah, fully, fully, completely. It's like I mean, and whether whether it's not better or just any any anyway anyway, just like a help, helping hand, shoulder to lean on, a hand to hold. Guys, I think I'm a Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what are you working on next. Mm. I've been writing like crazy, a lot of heartbreak, um, a lot of like emotional songs, a lot of like honestly, ever since the story that we just had, angry songs, but not not necessarily angry, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, a lot a lot of new songs, a lot of new emotions, good emotions. And you got the shows popping. Shows popping, um, yeah, I got a show on Tuesday, just promoting songs, singing, my little heart out. <laughs> Your little used and abused heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You have me exposed now. <gasps> uh, Thomas, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. It's actually so fun. I need to talk about these things more. Well, you know, I'm a therapist. Yes, I know. I know. I've learned quickly from yeah. this interview. Yeah. I just love, I don't know. I just, I, I think it's natural, naturally curious. Because you're a Pisces. Yeah. Are we naturally curious? We are. Yeah. Not nice nosy, people. just like not nosy, curious. curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not emotional. So whatever people are talking <laughs> yeah, yeah. about, Pisces are emotional. Ah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't cry if you don't cry. I'm not crying at all. Unless I played a bunch of songs. That's that won't get me. Yeah, no. You know what'll get me? Mm. Watching some like ID channel movie uh, or something <laughs> like that. And, it's, and it, I'm not like full blown crying. Yeah, I'm just right. like tearing. So like, like, have you ever watched a movie or something and like genuinely like started like? No. You know, nothing. Uh -uh. Nothing. No. I'm the opposite. You'll start bawling. I won't like ball, but I'll get like emotional. Again, I just I don't think I have that. I wish I was a Pisces. Who? I wish I was a Pisces. I just I can't like <laughs> right. Just like get into that mindset. No, like I will be like, oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's, that's so, so nice. Right. Never mind. Or like care. if somebody does something for me, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's see, those, so those, nice. Those hit, yeah. 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 Well, I'm not like, crying, but I'll be like, right, and it almost like, sounds. It's, it's like heartwarming. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost sounds disingenuous because I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so nice. Thank you. Or I'll be like, thank you so much. Like, and people are, are like, condescending. You're like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally saying thank you. Yeah. 100%. A pleasure. Thank Yo, you yeah. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.